In this video, we're going to be searching this 2013 Chevy Caprice Police Patrol vehicle. I bought her from a government fleet auction about two years ago. She came fully loaded with lights, sirens, equipment, goodies. I'm going to fully search her. I'm going to show you everything she came with. I'm going to be putting her to the test. So hit that like button and here we go. This is one of the fastest police patrol vehicles out there. These cars were not sold to the general public. You had to be a police agency to get your hands on one of these. But now that she was retired from the Richmond Police Department, I was lucky enough to get my hands on her. Check out this Satina uh, push bar right here. It's got not only two wheeling ions, but four. Two at the top and one on each side. It's got a Code 3 C3 100 siren speaker. There's Wheeling Vertexes in here on both sides. She's got Unity spotlights and there is Wheeling Ions here on both sides. And there's even more Wheeling Ions on the side. Richmond Police does not play when it comes to their lighting. And then there's a Code 3. 2700 light bar i'm gonna light all this up here in just a bit looks like she was number 11 12. there's a huge gps antenna right here it's almost bigger than my hand they have more wheeling vertexes in the back all these lights are working too i'm going to show you here in just a second community policing dedicated to superior service it has high performance eagle rsa police tires all right, let's take a quick look inside. Look at this. So sick. All right, I'm going to start my search from the front and work my way to the back. Right here we have a City of Richmond Police 72-hour notice. Safari Land trans Transport Hood. Okay, 40 caliber hollow point bullets. There goes another one. All right, it's a tiny one. There's a verbal notice by peace officer. I have Motorola battery. It's nasty under there. Oh yeah. This is like the charge, the Panasonic tough book we have right here. And it's got the little stand which pivots. Uh, we have a Motorola radio speaker. And uh, they are running a Code 3 Z3. There's the mic. It's a uh, stream light. All right, let me demonstrate all the lights. But first, let's start her up. Uh-uh. Nothing, of course. Key stuck. The key stuck, so I can't pop the trunk. So I'm going to pop the hood. So I get some power to this thing. <laughs> Oof. Oh, no. So those are spider eggs. All right, let's start up. Not enough power. So I'm gonna have to go to the store and buy a battery. Oh, got one. This one's extra heavy. Six month warranty, a quarter of the price. Okay, here's the battery. That looks like around the same size. Yo, what the heck is this? Okay, you little bastard. Coming out. At least it has a handle. Now out with the old, and now in with the new. That battery is freaking heavy. I guess that goes in there. They say negative first, right? Okay, let's start her up. Ooh, low fuel, of course. 80,000 miles, not bad. All right, let's look under the hood. Oh, so the Caprice PPV is powered by a 6.0 liter V8 engine. She produces 355 horsepower. She goes from zero to 60 in under six seconds. Clean, dirty, but clean. Ooh, except for that right there, you see that? That is a black widow. Now that I got her on, let's light her up. Let's check it out. There's dual color ions, dual colors all around. That is so sick. 
I am so loving the light bar. It's got the California Steady Burn Red. Look at all these lights. They're so bright and beautifully flashing synchronized. I can't believe she's mine. Okay, so check this out. If we start the car and put it in drive, let's make sure this thing doesn't roll away. Check it out, we get these extra lights right here. Headlight flashers and the vertexes. Yeah, that's weird that these are red and blue, and then this one is just blue. Strange. Just to the right. It's working like it should. Let's try the other. Yep. Okay, so yeah, if I push the gun button, watch this. You hear that? Yeah. It goes. Oh, that is so dope. Check out these seats. These seats are actually very comfortable. Uh-oh, check engine sign came on. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off so I can figure out what that is. See if the spotlights work. Oh no, this one's all beat up. Ooh, wow, <laughs> came on. Nice. Let's try this one. Huh? Police. PD. That is so loud. Awesome. Ooh, right up here. This is one of those lights. Oh, and it still turns on after all this time. All right, let's look on the other side. Look at this dent. That's some weird dent right here. That's gonna be interesting to fix. And this piece is coming off right here. Damn. What is that? That looks like some type of ninja Lego. It's in there. All right, let's take a look. The Richmond police hat. Uh, this has been Black Widows and stuff, so I'm not even gonna dare to put that on. Now, this is a very interesting laptop mounting setup by Gamber Johnson. There is power going to it to power up all your electronics. Well, the battery is dead. Otherwise, this thing should have been charging, charging up this Toughbook Panasonic. All right, it's a Toughbook CF31. I wanna check this out. This is an ID scanner. Push the button, scans the IDs. For barcodes, not just IDs. Police patch. Yeah, these are the, this is my Motorola two-way radio. The other one, if I remember correctly, should be in here. Yep, here it is. Just gotta charge these babies up. And, uh, there was this uh, tourniquet in here. Kinda looks beat up and used. And, uh, here is the owner's manual. Very valuable. Number one, one twelve. Number one, one twelve. Let's check out the back. All right, check it out. I don't know how that got in here. It must be some type of leak up here. Oh, you know what? I better not stick my hand in there because it's Black Widows. Don't smell too good in here either because of this water. Okay, this thing is by ADEC. Airbags on the side. Mm, seriously, that's that is one nasty moldy smell. Well, and check it out. We got Santa Cruz gun locks. This looks like for a shotgun and a rifle. The whole set is here. Let's take a good look at this setup right here. It's actually in really good condition. And uh, up here we have a Martian dome light. Just needs a Crown Rick Auto dome light sticker. As a matter of fact, if you guys want to support the channel, there's a link in the description where you can get your very own dome light sticker. All right, now let's uh, search that trunk. Push that button. Oh, I think it needs power first. Weird looking key. Yep. All right, let's take a look in the trunk. Please be a biscuit. <laughs> let's start from the top. Check this out. Uh, this is a wheeling. It's kind of loose though. Okay, let's see if this... Nope, I think I gotta turn it on first. Okay, so flick it. Ooh, look at that. What does this do? Oh, that is nice. I love it. That is dope. 
All right, it's blinding me, so I'm gonna turn it off. I made a mess in here. All right, this is the Code 3 Z3 setup here. Look how neatly this is installed. Look at that. These guys are professionals, that's for sure. And this power thing right here went to the Motorola Brain, which I believe I used to have. I don't even remember anymore. It's been so long. Ooh, somebody got a ticket. Irvin Moreno, driver's license, none. Poor guy. Get a license, buddy. So police do not cross tape. This is, this is my law pro. Mm, it's been a while since I've seen this. Oh, and I got some handcuffs. We want oil. This looks like a blue light. I can tell by that wire. But look how short that thing is. If any of you guys know how to repair it, you could have this. This could be another giveaway for this video. And there was somebody out there saying that my giveaways are fake. They are not fake. So if you receive this, post it on Instagram. Hashtag me for proof. That and the handcuffs. I would appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out. What the heck is this? GM, okay, I thought this, oh, I thought it was a gun piece for a quick second. There's some type of lever there. Let me go look on there. Hopefully this trunk doesn't close on me. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. That's the trunk release, good, good. That makes me feel a little better. Oh shit. Oh shit. Do you see that? That is a freaking baton. It's like stuck. Uh. More. There's a handheld radio on there. I could only feel it. I'm gonna have to get to that on another video. But for now, let's see what I pulled out of there. A Bluetooth speaker. This looks like a good one. Oh, it's got a little bit of it's got a little bit of battery in there. This is freaking sick. Look at this. This is super heavy. Boom. Nice. Hell yeah. All right, let's go put this thing to the test. Okay, so before I take it out for a spin, I'm going to clean it up just a bit. But all right, before I take this, let's try to figure out why the check engine sign is on. Okay, we got the odd tail. Okay, while this thing powers on, let me look under the hood, see if, um, if I can spot anything that would tell me why. You know, like something disconnected, something obvious. I hope rats didn't chew anything up because I'm gonna be so screwed because these parts are so hard to find. It literally took me over a month to get the caps that were missing on this thing. So these are the codes right here. Oil, engine oil pressure sensor. Okay, before I can legally take this in the street, I have to spray paint some X's on this. Driving black and white cars in California is illegal. do will impound your car. Don't worry guys, this comes off. See, that shows that we made an effort to not be a cop. Okay, so the Caprice has been sitting here at my cleaning lady's house for over two years. I've been so busy with other projects, I have not been able to get to her, but things are about to change. Look at her, I'm trying to film this car and she's getting way ahead of herself. Wait for me. <laughs> Dude, her neighbors are gonna be freaking out. They're gonna be like, what the heck is the police doing here? <laughs> They say the Crown Vic is a four-door Mustang, and some say the Caprice is the four-door Corvette. Okay, stop, stop. Let me in. Seriously? Oh, oh no, no, she's going in the street. Oh no. Dude, she's about to get arrested. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She's turning around, oh wow. Okay, my heart is pumping right now. Okay. Stamp on it. Yeah. So far, so good. They probably think we're the popo. <laughs> so nice out here. You're lucky you live out here. Yeah, no hoodlums. 
Yeah, that's true. hookers on the side. <laughs> work. Yeah. So we're gonna do a zero sixty. Ready? Okay. Step on it. Go. What's that noise? Don't know what it is. Hmm, smells like lovely cow poop. Okay, I'm forgetting one thing. I gotta put it on sport mode. It is now on sport mode. Okay, so let's see what, what difference that makes. <laughs> oh boy. This bad girl is here to stay, guys. She is now part of the channel. I'm gonna restore her and make her street legal. A video series is already in progress, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of it. Also, follow me on Instagram. I post almost daily. And shout out to all my channel members. Exclusive content is coming here. Stay tuned. All the links are in the description.